everyone, Razzy here. There was some discussion lately on the subreddit about uh, landing in manual reversion, so I decided to make a video and uh, kind of explain how to do it and give you tips to try and help you land your A10 in manual reversion and be a total badass. So, first things first, we're going to put the airplane in manual reversion simulating a hydraulic failure. And we're going to notice that right away the hydraulic reservoirs are going to start losing pressure. And there goes the hydraulic pressure master warning, and now the airplane's already starting to veer all over the place. So first things first, we're going to silence the master caution. And now we're going to, first thing you want to do is gain control of the aircraft. And uh, already it's uh, handling very sluggish. Uh, the roll's okay, but the pitch is very, very sluggish. I'm, gonna, I'm giving a lot of pressure. Also, you'll notice that the stick is even shaking. Now, also, in terms of uh, stability, you'll want to know that the uh, trim is now completely, not ineffective, but reversed. So if I try and trim up, which is supposed to be uh, nose down, you'll see that, well, there go, up goes the nose. So you're going to need to be careful. The trim is going to do the opposite of what you want it to, in fact, to an insane degree. So let's try and get this aircraft back under control before I smash into the ground. So I'm gaining airspeed, so I'm going to throttle back. I'm going to try and pull up as gently as I can. Okay, so I have the airplane back under control now. And uh, airspeed is a crucial issue when you're landing in manual reversion, because remember, you don't have any air. Uh, your speed brakes aren't going to work. Okay, there. The airplane's now under, back under my control. And uh, next order of business is uh, to land it. But uh, because we're under manual reversion and flying the airplane is tough enough as it is, we're going to want to dump as much weight as we can. According to the DSMS, we have a whole uh, full out of store, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, emergency jettison. Okay, there goes everything. Okay, so now the airplane's just a little bit easier to fly. Already I can see the airplane, uh, the, uh, sorry, the runway in front of me. So I'm going to go ahead and throttle down. Because again, I don't have any speed brakes for this approach. I'm going to try and establish my uh, base leg. Or is it the home leg? I keep forgetting. The one before final. Okay, so we have a lot of airspeed and a lot of altitude. So that's going to be a big issue for us coming into this approach. So I'm going to try and get rid of the backrest just a little bit. Okay. Next order of business is we're going to want to lower the landing gear. Now, we are going a little bit fast. But there's not much we can do about it at the moment. I think we're going to be able to bleed out. No, we're not going to be able to bleed enough airspeed. So I'm going to have to do a 270 degree turn to the left in order to bleed out to bleed the excess airspeed. So I'm going to start the turn. And there, at 220, we're slow enough to deploy the landing gear. So I'm going to go, go ahead and lower the lever. Already we get another master caution on the anti-skid. So it's telling us already that something's terribly wrong. Also, I'm not getting uh, green lights, and the handle is still beeping, so I'm going to go ahead and silence the warning. And actually, we're going to have to figure out what the hell's wrong with the landing gear, and then I remember, oh wait, I'm running without hydraulics. So I'm going to have to deploy the landing gear using the auxiliary lever, which is down here on the left. And hopefully, when, when that's going to deploy the gear, we're going to get the, the handle, and we're going to... The light's going to turn off, and we're going to get the uh, three green lights and the anti-skid light went away. There we go. We have the green lights and the levers down, and we have a good landing speed. Next, what you want to do when you're coming in for a landing is remember, you're not going to have any hydraulic pressure for the brakes. So you're going to have to go ahead and arm the emergency brake system right there, and that's going to automatically disable the anti-skid. Now, you're going to have, one thing you're going to have to remember about the emergency uh, brakes is that it's a limited reservoir that doesn't become repressurized layman's terms, it means you only get to brake once. So you need to be very careful when and how you apply the brakes. Okay, so here we go, around final. Speed is a little high, but that's okay. You're gonna want, you're gonna want more airspeed with your manual reversion than less, because the more airspeed you have, the more responsive your already degraded control surfaces are gonna be. So the most important thing on the approach is to try and keep her as stable as you can. And what you're going to want to do is you want to brake as late as you can 
on the uh, rollout. Okay, so here we go. Again, as I said, it's better to land fast and slow altitude, altitude. in manual reversion. Okay. Have a visual on the ground. Setting up for free flare. And final flare. And let's settle her down. Beautiful touchdown. And let's start applying the brakes. Now remember, the anti-skid is off, which means the airplane is going to start careening left and right if we're not careful. So I'm going to give it as little rudder as I can. Try to keep her on the center line. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Let's put her, get her to a complete stop. And let's call the ground crew and ask for help with our hydraulic issue, and they'll tow us back to the hangar. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, short video, and I hope it's useful, and I hope to see you guys in the air.